Well, thanks for uh, thanks for being here. Uh, very uh, very proud. We have a lot of respect for the personnel and the team we just play, especially on defense. There's a couple guys that uh, have received some recognition and well deserved. Uh, however, I thought after a slow start, the offensive and defense lines took over the game. If you do that without turning the ball over, usually you'll win. Uh, we still have some weaknesses. We we worked so hard at trying to develop a passing game, and I can't say that we did it successfully. However. Uh, it's still a work in progress, and we're going to keep grinding and keep pushing that because at some point we have to be a balanced team. We're not there yet. So we've uh, got a bye week coming up. For the guys that played a lot, I'm going to give them uh, Sunday. They have to come in and just get treatments. Monday uh, is uh, a lifting opportunity for them. And then uh, we will practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. And I told them, I explained to them, the bye weeks are, there's no rights around here. That's uh, earned time. And uh, if we didn't play well, we would have been in tomorrow working and, and uh, going all week like we normal work week. But those guys earned it, and I'm proud of them. And uh, uh, two big ones left. Congratulations, Clay Hall, ABC6. Uh, Troy Smith told me today he thinks Braxton could be the best quarterback ever here if he continues to work. Does he still show you things, the escapability, the 50-yard throw across the field? Uh, that he's progressing and the, the area where we're not uh, efficient enough is a drop back pass and uh, we have to well he's not a drop back passer you have to be that's not acceptable and uh, the guys around him we've just got to continue to get better that's the on offense I'm really disappointed in that I mean uh, the play action game's pretty solid that's what you've seen those plays are those aren't drop back passes drop back passes are the third downs and also on first down you have to be able to take the pressure off uh, some of the other you know, areas of the team when you just drop back and be able to throw some quick game and, and we're just not there yet. And, uh, but the, you know, those are strong statements. He's a sophomore in college and we're still trying to figure it out and he's trying to figure it out. But uh, I love his effort and, and he played well. Last Brian Taylor. Bill dispatch. What did you like most about what you saw today and what troubled you? Uh, our start, I can start with the negative and that was the way we started. Uh, the fact that our kickoff cover team let a couple out today and uh, the silly penalties on defense by one guy in particular that uh, I'm going to evaluate that. We're going to have a chat because that's not, you know, you'll lose a game in a tight situation. You do that. And uh, that's not acceptable. Uh, what I like uh, best about it is when you control the line of scrimmage. And we're uh, very, I mean, are you kidding me? That offensive line, I keep talking about them. They ran for, I think, 330 yards. And uh, uh, just where they, you know, just where they've come from. You know, think about if you, if you, it's almost overwhelming if you think where they were uh, first week of spring practice to where they are now. I mean, I'm talking where they were in January, when they, uh, December, when they four of them missed my team meeting. And then they missed again, and then we had to do a little uh, 5 a.m. Uh, for a week because of them. That was because of the, uh, the whole black week or whatever they call it, the black Wednesday, or I guess that was a Bowling Green. Uh, but the week when we had them out in 10 degree weather trying to make them make a decision, either quit or stay. That was because of the offensive line, and uh, to think where they're at now, and you know they just got called out in front of their group, and those are good guys. Those first five guys are really good guys.